So today is the day before the shoot and we're just going around the location and taking a tour of uh, the area that we're shooting at. We're supposed to shoot in a place where it's like uh, we're on a vacation. But it's work! Special guest. Our special guest? Yeah, that's our special guest, Sharon. Um, we got her from Malaysia and uh, she flew down just for this. Right now we are on the beach. We are trying to see if the space is enough for us to shoot. And I think it's pretty okay. Yeah, yeah, what do you think, yeah? My only concern is that Kevin needs to go inside the water. Remember your scene about jumping? It's gonna be from here, man. Okay, you jump first. Okay, let me show you. Show. <laughs> Meet my friend Kevin. Hello. Hi. You will be. I'm not oh, disappointed. You will be almost. <laughs> You're angry. No. <laughs> <laughs> Very excited. Whoa. Oh, yeah. oh, steady, steady. <laughs> so in this scene, uh, really tomorrow Sharon will have a romantic <laughs> scene with Kevin. Yeah, I'm honored. I'm honored. Yeah. Since I was young. Uh, you are what? <laughs> you make her dream come true. Dreaming of becoming vampire. She also making my dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Oh, There's no race right here, man. No. A day before the actual shoot of types of students during summer vacation. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's a day before the shoot, and we are just checking out the sunset. It's such a beautiful sky, like I know like I'm super stressed and all but just seeing the sunset, being here, seeing the water, it calms me down. It, it makes me very happy. So we're just looking at the location now, looking at the view, super nice. Wow. Yeah, we're just gonna beautiful. take this time to enjoy it and then to battle tomorrow! To war! This is the calm before the storm. So we are here at the beach right now and we actually have a few scenes for tomorrow's video. And as you can see, it's a big, big beach, but we don't know if it'll be high tide tomorrow. So let's hope it'll be low tide tomorrow, huh? <laughs> uh, just keep note that we have added two extra scenes, okay? We have two extra scenes. It's in 16 and in 20. So 16 and 20 is another scene that will be split into A and B. This is going to be our biggest shoot so far. <laughs> I know, I knew I would hear some laughter because Every shoot gets bigger and bigger. Alright, see you tomorrow. Good morning. Morning. Morning, morning, guys. Uh, weather's bad. But uh, we're gonna make it work! Alright, so we're actually on the day of the shoot and we're actually gonna shoot this video called Types of Students on Summer Vacation. That's right. So it's gonna be a very, very long and tiring day for us, but hopefully we can pull through it. And actually, we even went down to Garena itself to learn more about the game. And on. <laughs> context about that, context about that, that we're actually doing a collaboration with uh, Garena for the new game Undone. So, what better way to do a research than head down to the source, right? So we're here at Garena's office right now and we're gonna look for someone to ask about this new game called Undone for our next big video. Hi, <laughs> I'm Catherine. Hi, I'm Yuling. Yeah, and we are from the Garena Undone team. First question that we have is, what is the game about? So Garena Undone is actually a zombie survival shooter game and it's set in this post-apocalyptic world. So you actually wake up to this world that's infested with zombies and your only goal in the game is to stay alive with your friends. What is in the game's setting? So actually you wake up, you know, in this world that is four years later after the first like sighting of this zombie. And basically, you know, in this game you wake up and then you hear this like radio call and it's actually from this place called the Raven Shelter. So in this the first mission of your game is so actually to find this shelter and you gotta you know hunt some zombies and you know um, gather some supplies and once you find the shelter is actually when the game truly begins and when you reach this shelter you'll meet you know some of the NPCs some of the main characters of the story and you can follow the storyline to you know uncover some of the mysteries within this world of Undone. Oh so it's uh, kind of like an open world survival game right? Uh, yeah it Ooh. is. Exactly. All right we've learned so much about this game thank yeah. you guys so where can I actually play this game and where can I download it? So for iOS, please go to App Store. If you have Android device, please go to Google Play. And for PC, please visit ud.garina.com. So today's shoot, I feel like I'm playing this game on hard mode. Uh, this is the highest difficulty, you know, with the rain, with the wetness. Look at this. It's, it's wet. Uh, what else? The sound, there's thunder. What else? Uh, Sylvie is in a wheelchair, and we wrote her like fighting zombies. Like this. It's hard mode, it's hard mode. Extreme. It's extreme mode. But uh, I believe it's a test. Oh, 
is what I have to go through. And I shall stand there unfazed! My teacher as producer. <laughs> Do you have any plan B here? Oh yeah, dude, I have plan D. Oh, I have a plan D. Right, bro. Right. I can't be pen. And here's our room, guys. Enjoy. Your uh, props team, right? Get some bags and then drop it. Okay. Uh, back, back for any time. And action! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Double count. Uh, uh, this feels really good! Just look at your face. Uh, Aren't you a happy boy? Yeah! We're a happy boy! Uh, yeah. We're doing the intro scene. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's actually raining very heavily outside right now. So we're just gonna clear all our indoor scenes before we head out to the beach later on. So, do you think you can survive in the world of Undone? I think so, because. Based on what I've what I've seen and I played the game for a little bit, the zombies don't move that that quick, right? So I think I, I might have the intelligence to outwit them and to protect myself properly. Nothing can ruin my mood. Absolutely nothing. Daryl, what are you doing here? So what are we shooting today? We're going to be shooting a zombie themed video. Oh my god, I've been waiting for this for so long because I've, I've always wanted to cosplay as a zombie. So do you think you can survive in the world of Undawn? As a human, I don't think so. Like, Why? I can't even walk one meter without my crutches. So um, I think the zombie will eat me alive. Uh, can Maddie go up the stairs? Slowly. Yes. Slowly. Right here. So she can go up. Even eventually. Alright, I got your keys. Let me show you your rooms. So right now we're causing a bit of tension with Denise and Maddie's characters because uh, you know they're trying to make all the boys jealous. Girls. Maddie and I will go attack now and this is a good chance for us to bond since we're daddy's open. Alright, let's go. Don't look at me, we're not together. I want no part of this. The beach. And cut. So we have a beach scene today, but the problem is there's a giant truck on the area that we're supposed to be shooting it. I don't know what they are doing, I don't know why they are doing it, and I don't know why they just happen to be doing it today. It was fine yesterday with the whole sunset and stuff, but look, a big... I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Difficulty level? One million! But it's so hot, I don't want to get sunburned. I really get it. And plus, do you know what's the number one cause of sunburn? The sun! Go figure, right? Hello. Yeah. Hey, I'll make it. Hello, no, they're wrong. Hello, eh? Time it is. I just don't get it. Why do we like you so much? If uh, two coconuts divide by two, uh, by four inches, uh, how heavy are John's marbles? Fancy seeing you boys here. Here are some additional assignments. Uh, hello, mommy. Oh, Hi. zoom in. Oh, yes, yes. Some crazy person beat me out of nowhere. Ah, whatever. Sleep it off. Forget about it. Let's head to the beach. Conga! Conga, conga, conga. Miss Natalie here is because I called her. And she's very kind to come today because I accidentally told her that it was in July. And then suddenly yesterday, I'm like, so, uh, you coming tomorrow? See you tomorrow. I'm like, tomorrow? What's what, going what on tomorrow? tomorrow? Yeah, but she pulled through and uh, thank you. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, my nieces love this. Hi, Gracie. Hi. It's your favorite Hi, Gracie. auntie. Now you're the coolest auntie. Right? I am. I've been the coolest auntie for months. Hello. Hi. So, what are we shooting today? We are shooting Thais of Students on Holiday, is it? Yes. Yeah, oh my god, I, I got it right. So. I, I read so. the title like once only. <laughs> this is what happens when you're no longer the Then why are we here if like it's students on holiday? Because in our scene, we actually have like a little surprise for the students. Hmm. And the little surprise is... Ta da! Homework. <laughs> <laughs> we are scraping Kevin like a window. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Woo! Kevin, I, I don't think it's a good idea. What? You afraid of some water? Ah, 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 I'm not gonna stop my jellyfish! Ah. Guys, let me help you. I need to urinate on you. I mean, I'm so glad that we are all here. Right now we are on the beach and uh, we're very excited because all of us are not going to be ourselves very soon. We're going to be a little bit scary, you know, and a little bit dead. 
if you could bring one person to survive an apocalypse, I who would you bring and why? Why? Because he's my husband, he's my baby daddy, and he's the person that I choose to be with for the rest of my life. I'm going to flirt with Jen Hao later, and then fight Kevin. Do you guys have a challenge? Sorry, rooms are full. I've had enough room drama for the day. You sure? I don't need that much space. What girl? Oh, if only a zombie apocalypse was real. I'll have them eat you first. I heard that. You were supposed to. So, Sharon is doing her makeup right now. Uh, she's gonna be uh, the first zombie that actually initiates contact with the study buddies. And that person, of course, is Kevin. Oh, come on, don't be shy. I don't bite unless you do. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Okay, is that okay? <laughs> okay cool. Do you think you can survive in the world of Undawn? I think I can. Did you see my uh, sword sing swinging skills? Let my wife show you. What do you think? What do you think? Pretty cool, right? So, Undawn, Undawn afflicted. If there's an uh, apocalypse, who and why would you wanna survive with this person? My wife. Because I'm here, right? Well, you ask me in front of my wife. If I say another answer, you are trying to sound me. So what? What do you mean? Ah, my wife. Hey, you never see my answer. My answer is so sweet, Why? you know. Right, Natch? I would choose my wife because I think that um, I should choose my wife. You should. I is want to choose my wife. Because as in an apocalypse, it would be my duty to repopulate and... That is your concern, that's all. Are there more other concerns? No, save the world. Save the world, right? Yes. Listen up. If he's really telling the truth, then we need to stay in here. Because we're in the middle of nowhere. And we have better chances of defending ourselves than he has. After all, don't turn your backs. But, but we're not even related. Oh. I'm joining this oh, guy, I'm not on okay, it! Okay, that didn't work, that didn't work! He's there! Guys, I have to go! No, I have to go no, to Kevin! No, 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 no. That's not, that's not, no, it's not, not, not a good idea. Yeah, uh, she opened the door. Yeah, she opened the door. Great. zombie makeup right now. This one is bridal. This is ghost bright. Like, really. Like, mine is so scary and then hers looks like bright. If there's only one person that you can bring into this apocalypse. Not Debbie. Who would it be? Not Debbie. Uh, maybe Denise. Let's Denise. say, if I'm left with Denise, at least I think she can find a cure. Basically, me and Maddie got stuck in a room and uh, she sacrificed herself for me. But I offered to sacrifice, but she didn't allow me, so she sacrificed herself and I got bitten in the process. Yeah, such a heroic character, me. The best, the best heroic character. It doesn't sound like you though. You know what? You don't sound like you. So we're shooting our final boss zombie scene. And uh, unlike many YouTube channels or zombie fighters who, uh, you know, fight the zombies super cool, super well, there's a small twist because the final boss is the most difficult, most emotional final boss. Yeah, good. Man, man, man. Here I am as a zombie at 3.45 a.m. I'm tired, but at least I got to sit for the first time since 9 a.m. This has been one of the toughest shoots ever. I will promise you next video is just types of students in the classroom. Nowhere else in the classroom. Nothing special. 
nine types of students in the classroom. I'm done with this. Like, I'm done with trying. I'm done, I'm done with trying so hard. I, I think I'm trying too hard at this point. I think it, I just need to go back into the classroom. Back to basics. You know, the excited one. The excited for the class. The one who never do the homework. The one who comes late. Huh? How about that? That sounds good, right? That sounds better than that type of zombie apocalypse. Matt, hi! Thanks. Okay, at least I get a compliment. So, it's 4.30am, finally. We are done with our shoot. This has been an amazing experience. Uh, I don't think that uh, it's the most relaxing experience, but I think in time to come when we look back, we will all think of it very fondly. We will know that it's worth it. We will know that the hard work was worth it. But for now, I just want to rest. And the next video, 10 types of students in the classroom. Maybe even nine. Maybe even nine. Who knows? All I know is my feet hurt, my back hurts, and my feet stank, and I want to go home. Okay. After our 20 hour worship. It's a wrap! It's a wrap! <laughs> yeah, we, can't, we can't be so loud because it's 4 a.m. You're very loud. I know I'm very soft. It's a wrap.